Once upon a time, there was a king named Harishchandra. He was known for his honesty and integrity. One day, a farmer came to Harishchandra's court. He asked the king for a donation of a thousand cows. The king, who was always ready to help his people, gave away all his wealth to fulfill the farmer's request. Harishchandra, the king now became poor and had to leave his palace and shift to a small village with his queen and the prince. On the other side, the farmer was not able to feed 1,000 cows and repented being greedy. The farmer didn't know what to do with so many cows. So he decided to give half of the cows to his friend Ramesh, who was known for his wealth and prosperity. Ramesh was very happy to receive a gift of 500 cows from his former friend. But after a while, the wealthy friend Ramesh suffered a loss in his business and was unable to take care of the cows. One day, he overheard a group of people talking about a noble man, Harish Chandra, who tries to help everyone possible. Without wasting any time, Ramesh went to Harish Chandra and asked for his help. King Harish Chandra, who was now completely broke, but he promised to send himself and his family as slaves to help Ramesh. Harish Chandra was a man of his words. He sold his wife, son and himself as slaves to Kalu, who agreed to pay the amount. Kalu was a tough taskmaster. He would make all three of them work very hard. One day, Kalu took the prince to the cremation ground to work as a slave. There, the prince was bitten by a long, poisonous snake and he died on the spot. Queen also died soon after and the king was left alone and helpless. But Harish Chandra didn't lose hope. He continued to work very hard as a slave and finally he managed to repay the debt to Kalu. Impressed by Harish Chandra's honesty and integrity, the gods in the sky decided to test him. They disguised themselves as poor husband and wife and approached the king for help. Harish Chandra, who didn't recognize gods, helped them with whatever little he had. Gods were very happy with Harish Chandra's generosity and blessed him with wealth and prosperity and gave him back his family and his kingdom. The moral of the story is that honesty and integrity always pays off in the end. Wow, that was an inspiring story. I'm sure our viewers will enjoy and learn from it. That's it for today's episode of Fable Forest. Join us next time for another exciting story from around the world. Do like and subscribe to the channel for more stories.